in the book, I use a, a metaphor to try to help give the reader, and frankly, me as well, an intuitive understanding of timescales that really defy human intuition. Because to really talk about the far future of the universe, you need to talk about timescales that are fantastically longer than even the stretch all the way back to the Big Bang. So to do that, I ask the reader, and I'll ask you here now to go with me, imagine that we use the following metaphor. Imagine we have the Empire State Building. And imagine that every floor of the Empire State Building represents a duration that's 10 times that of the previous floor. So ground floor is one year, first floor 10 years, second floor 100, third floor 1,000, and so forth. So in this scheme, we are going exponentially far into the future as we climb up the stairwell of the Empire State Building. Now in this scheme, everything that's happened from the Big Bang until today extends to just above the 10th floor, roughly 10 billion years. And as we go forward, we're just going exponentially beyond that. And I'll just take you through a couple of the floors to give a sense of what happens. By floor 11, the sun is going to swell to over 200 times its current size, engulfing the inner planets and maybe even the Earth as well. By floor 14, most stars will have used up their nuclear fuel and will fade to black. By floor 19, the Earth, if it wasn't swallowed up by the sun on floor 11, is now going to spiral into the dark sun, having lost energy through gravitational radiation. By floor 30, most stars will fall into their galaxy's central black hole. By floor 38, protons, the very heart of complex matter, are likely to disintegrate, showing that complex matter will be gone when you pass by the 38th floor. By floor 50, any cogitating beings that still exist, and there may simply be none around once protons decay, but if there are cogitating beings left in the universe, they will think their final thought because the actual process of thinking creates waste heat Entropy that the universe needs to absorb, but by the floor 50, the universe won't be able to absorb it, which means that when that thinking being thinks one more thought, it will fry in the own heat that its thought generates. Between, between floor 68 and the peak, even black holes will disintegrate through a process that Stephen Hawking taught us about. They will radiate energy into space and disperse into a bath of particles that will simply waft through an ever larger and ever colder cosmos. That's it.